parts of them. So one of the papers that I suggest is just to have a look on this one. So the title is say everything that I'm trying to, to say here. So complex systems are more than the sum of their parts. Uh, just to give an example of this, we have this uh, metabolic data from uh, maize plants, which were These plants were uh, subjected to uh, four different conditions. In blue, we have well watery plants. In yellow, uh, drought stress plants. In green, uh, well watery plus heat. Uh, sorry, in green, we have well watery uh, plus heat stress and uh, DS plus H is drug stress plus heat stress. So this is a graph of principal component analysis. It's a multivariate analysis that we can we use to see how different are the samples. So imagine, uh, so you have two components, the first one and the second one. And uh, you can see here that all the four uh, kind of uh, samples are separated to each other. So you have the blue circles, I mean the well watery plants in one uh, is separated from the others by the, the first and the second components and each of the other sample is also separated by the first or the second component. Um, what is the information here? So you have drug stress and heat stress and when you have the combination of both it's not like summing heat and uh, drug. So you have a new kind of stress. Okay, because metabolically speaking so each circle here for example in the well water it, it's, a, it's one metabolite. Okay. Um, uh, the samples here are really separated because they differ a lot at metabolic level. Okay, so what is the emergent uh, information here, the emergent property that drug stress plus heat stress is different from drug stress or heat stress separated. Okay, the combination of both stress uh, you have a completely new condition. Okay, this is something that we are not observing, only looking for uh, doing univariate uh, analysis, for example. Uh, another example on the same, uh, the same uh, experimental, uh, similar experimental uh, condition, here we have plants under drought, heat, and both stress combined. So at the left figure, it's a PLSDA analysis, also multivariate analysis that we use to discriminate the samples. You have the control samples in red, and then you have heat uh, in green, uh, well, water, water deficit in purple, and water deficit plus heat stress in light uh, blue. You see it again, the water deficit or water stress plus heat stress leads to a completely new uh, uh, situation. So every point here is one replicate, one biological replicate composed of many, many metabolites. Okay. At the right you can see the heat map of our condition. In red you have the control, in green you have uh, heat, heat uh, stress or high temperature uh, in dark blue uh, water deficit and light blue water deficit plus heat stress. You can see in the water deficit plus heat stress that many compounds have much more accumulation in these uh, replicates, in these genotypes rather than in the other, uh, in the other condition.